In this tutorial, I will show you how to import your Lightroom Classic catalog into Capture One. But before I start, it's important to mention that this won't have any impact on your Lightroom catalog and you can continue to use it as normal. Photos are not moved either. Please keep in mind that importing a large catalog of photos may take some time to import. So if you want to get a feeling of how the import process works, export a smaller catalog from Lightroom first. It's easy to do by right clicking on any collection and choosing export as catalog. However, for this demo, I'll import this entire catalog to Capture One. Moving to Capture One, I'll begin by making a new catalog by saying file new catalog and I'll call it Lightroom import. By the way, if you have an existing Capture One catalog, you can still import your Lightroom catalog into it. Next, go to File, Import Catalog, Lightroom Catalog. A dialog pops up informing you what can and can't be imported and a link to an in-depth support article about the process. Next, select your Lightroom Catalog. You're looking for the .lrcat file of the catalog you want to import. This window confirms the location of your catalog and the number of photos that are due to be imported along with the number of collections in Lightroom. And again, it may take a while if you have a large catalog. Once the import has completed, you'll see a summary and there's a couple of important things to note here. First of all, any incompatible files are mentioned here. For a full list of their names and location, you can click here to see a text file. If you want to refer to it again in the future, save it to a known location. Remember I said at the start of the tutorial that your photos won't be moved, so you can see their location in the folders area over here. To make it easier to locate all of them, especially if you've imported your Lightroom catalog into an existing Capture One catalog, a user collection is also made here. You can also see any collections that you've created in Lightroom here as well. Finally, if any of your photos were offline in Lightroom, for example on a disconnected hard drive, Capture One will still be able to import them but not be able to generate previews for the viewer. In the folders area, you can see which hard drives are offline, indicated by the warning triangle. So for example, if I select this folder, the viewer won't be able to display an image in the viewer because the hard drive is offline. However, if I reconnect the hard drive, Capture One is then able to build previews.